Hello students. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning sir. Today we are going to see the part 2 of that problem. So in the previous class, what we have seen in this problem is to draw about the velocity diagram. So once again I recall how to draw the velocity diagram. So velocity diagram is always perpendicular to the space diagram. So in this space diagram we have drawn uh, according to the scale 1 is to 2 and uh, you know the measurements, so you have converted the measurements according to the scale value and you have constructed the space diagram. After constructing the space diagram we need to find the velocity values. In order to find the velocity value there is a formula. The formula is that is the angular velocity of the particular link into length of the link. So here the angular velocity of the link PQ is given as 10 radian per second. So 10 radian per second that is 10 into the length of the link PQ. Here in the question it is given as 62.5 mm. So what we have to do is we have to convert this millimeter into meter which means 62.5 divided by 1000. You will obtain a value that is 0 0.0625. So if you, if you multiply these values you will obtain the Velocity of the particular link PQ. So this is what we have seen. After uh, finding this value, what we have to do is by using the stationary, we have to construct the velocity. That is by using the set square and the roller scale. These two components we have to construct the velocity diagram. So first of all, what we have to do is uh, you have to take a perpendicular line to the link PQ. So first we have taken the perpendicular line. And this is how we have to transform that. Perpendicular line. Perpendicular means 90 degree line. So this is how I have uh, transformed the line for the link PQ. So P to Q is 90 degree line perpendicular to the space diagram. So the value of this line is 0 0.625 which means I have taken the scale as 1 centimeter equal to 0 0.1 meter per second. That is 6.2 centimeter I have constructed a line. So this is the first point. And the second line that is at QR. So for this line again you have to take a perpendicular line and from the end point of this line that is from Q you have to take a perpendicular uh, line to QR. So you have to try a perpendicular line by using this roller scale QR. So this is the second point. And the third point what we have done in the previous class is by taking a perpendicular line to the link RS. So you have, uh, you have taken this perpendicular line so this is how we have to transform this line, okay? So this line we have to transform it. Yes. So this is how we have to transform this line. And from the starting point of P to yes, PS, we have to construct a perpendicular line that is R. So this is how we have drawn the velocity diagram. So we already know about the velocity diagram. A velocity diagram will be in a triangular shape. So uh, after obtaining the, uh, completing the diagram, you have to measure the each link. So first of all, we know this link and the velocity is calculated by manually. And these two links, that is QO and RS. So these two links you have to measure and you have to convert it to the scale and you have to write the value. So this is how you will find the velocity. After finding the velocity, you need to find the angular velocity. So in order to find the angular velocity, the formula is angular velocity will be equal to velocity divided by length of the link. So angular velocity is found out for a link, link RQ that is 1.83 radian per second. Similarly for RS, well, uh, angular velocity of RS is equal to velocity of the link RS divided by length of the link RS. So you will get the value of angular velocity of RS as 3.91 radian per second. So this is part 1 of this problem. Today we are going to see about the part 2 of this problem. That is, we are going to calculate the acceleration uh, component. That is, acceleration diagram we are going to construct. In order to construct the acceleration, uh, first of all you need to find out the values. So in order to find out the value for acceleration diagram, acceleration, the formula is acceleration of the link PQ will be velocity of the link PQ divided by length of the link PQ. So we already know the velocity of the link PQ is 0 0.625 0 meters per second square. The whole square divided by length of the link PQ. Length of the link PQ is 
zero point that is zero uh, one year to do is so if you divide it by thousand sixty two point five divided by thousand so you will obtain zero point zero six two five so zero point zero six two five okay so this is how you have to find the acceleration of the each link so I have already found out the acceleration component so let us see the values so acceleration of V2 is 6.25 meters per second square. Similarly, acceleration of the link QR will be equal to velocity of the link QR divided by length of the link QR. That is 0.32 the whole square divided by length of the link is 0.175. If you calculate, you will get the value as 0.634 meters per second square. Similarly, acceleration of the link RS, that is velocity of the link RS, the whole square divided by length of the link RS, that is 0.44 the whole square divided by 0.1125. So you will get the value as 1.613 meters per second square. So we have obtained the acceleration values for all the links in the velocity diagram. So these are all radial components, the moving components are radial components. So there is one more component, tangential component. Let us see how the radial component, tangential component are drawn in the acceleration diagram. So while starting the diagram, you should know the values first and then you have to think in what scale we can draw this diagram. So you can see here, the first link is 6.2, the second link is 0.6 and the third link is 1.6. So these values I am taking the scale value as 1 centimeter equal to 1 meters per second square. So this is what my scale for acceleration diagram. So again, we know that the acceleration diagram it is a how will you draw acceleration diagram the acceleration diagram can be drawn by constructing perpendicular line to the velocity diagram so what is the first thing here ps so ps is already fixed so what i do is i am marking a point somewhere in the space okay so then for this line, I am going to construct a perpendicular line. So, what length I have to draw? I have obtained here as 6.25 meters per second square. This means I have to draw according to my scale. It is 6.25 centimeter. So, this line, I am taking perpendicular line for this line. So, perpendicular line for this line. So, this is how you have to move your scale in your notebook. Yes, I have obtained this, I have transformed this line, so I am marking this line, approximately a straight line, that is a 90 degree line for the link, PQ. Yes, the length of the line is from this point to this point, it is 6.25 cm. So I am drawing a line for 6.25 cm. So this is P comma S and this line is Q. So the next point here is from this point the next line that is from Q to R that is 0.6 cm according to my scale. So for the link QR in the velocity diagram we have to construct a perpendicular line for this diagram like this. QR line. I am taking a perpendicular line like this. Yes. This line is perpendicular to the link QR in the velocity diagram. And the length of the line is 0.6 cm according to my scale value. So this line is acceleration radial component for QR. And the next thing what I have to do is 
once if you draw a radial component, you have to draw a tangential component. So, how will you draw a tangential component? A tangential component can be drawn perpendicular to the radial component, which means from this line, from this line, I am taking a perpendicular line, okay, so that is nothing but your tangential component. So, from this line, I am marking a Line, this line is called tangential component. So this line is perpendicular to this line. So this is acceleration tangential component Q1. So this is a perpendicular line. I have drawn here for this line, so the rose color line. I have drawn a radial component and tangential component. Okay, and the final link is this link. So for this link again I have to take that is from R to S there is a line that line the velocity value is one uh, acceleration value is 1.613 for this line again I am constructing a perpendicular line that line should be started from the point you can see here P to Q is drawn Q to R is drawn but all the end point of R is unknown so what I am doing is I am constructing from the point P so this is the perpendicular line so I am constructing for a distance of 1.6 cm approximately so this is what the acceleration radial component RS for this radial component a tangential component can be drawn the tangential component is perpendicular to this line so what I am doing is for this line, this line is perpendicular. So this line I am taking, I am taking from here and I am transferring to this point. Yes. So this is how you have to draw. So this tangential component and this tangential component will meet at an intersection point. That point is called the point R. So this is what the location of the point R. So this is how we have to construct the acceleration line or acceleration diagram and then we have to join the line. The point location R is forward here. From this line I am just connecting this point P and from this line I am connecting the point Q. So this is how you have to draw that acceleration diagram. Once again in the link, from the point P to Q, the length of the link is 6.2 cm according to our scale. So I am taking perpendicular line to this uh, line PQ. So the PQ line is drawn in this way. From PQ, I have drawn a perpendicular line from the velocity diagram. Again, from Q to R, there must be a radial component and tangential component. So what I am doing is I am constructing a line for a distance of 0.6 cm like this. This component is radial component for a distance of 0.6 cm according to our scale. And from this line I am constructing a perpendicular line that is called tangential component. Okay, I am just expanding the line to a uh, unspecified uh, distance then this line is extended that's it that is q to r q to r is radial tangential component is drawn then from r to s i am taking a perpendicular line so that perpendicular line is nothing but the radial component for a distance of 1.6 cm so from this line i am taking a 90 degree or perpendicular line and i am expanding it for 1.6 cm so from here this line I am drawing a tangential component that is a perpendicular line for this line. Okay, that is called the acceleration tangential component or S. So this tangential component and this tangential component will meet our intersection at a particular point. That point is the location of R. After locating R, you have to connect all the lines. So this is how you have to draw the acceleration diagram for this problem. After finding the acceleration, what you have to do is you have to measure the tangential component value. For example, acceleration tangential component Q1. The measurement value is according to me, the obtained value is 
So the obtained value for acceleration transition component Q R according to my uh, diagram is 4.4 centimeter. Okay, and acceleration transition component R S is 5.2 centimeter. According to my scale, this 4.4 meter per second square, 5.2 meters per second square. That is the component. So in order to find the angular acceleration, we need to find the angular acceleration. How will you find angular acceleration? So this is the symbol alpha angular acceleration for the link QR will be equal to acceleration tangential component QR divided by length of the link QR. So what is the value here? 4.4 4 .4 divided by length of the link QR is 0 0.175. So if you compute you will get the value as 25.14 radians of second square. Similarly, acceleration of the link RS, if you compute, that is acceleration tangential component RS divided by length of the link RS, that is 5.2 divided by 0.1125 you will get a value that is 46.22 radian per second square. So this is how you have to find that acceleration as well as the angular acceleration for this problem. So our objective is to find this problem. What you have asked? What they have asked? We have found out that velocity diagram and acceleration diagram and angular velocity and angular acceleration. So angular velocity is found out here and angular acceleration is found out here. So this is how you have to solve this problem. So let us meet in the next class. Thank you.